Every now and again, I'll get asked how I make my tracks sound wider. What plugins do I use to make certain elements stick out within the mix? Well, this is a quick tip video, so I'm not gonna dive into it fully today, but I'm gonna show you two tips for what I do to make my vocals sound wider. So I'm back again with another music production tip. As I mentioned, every single day in January, I've got a new music production tip for you. 31 days, 31 tips. And today we're talking about wider vocals. Now there's a whole load of things you can do to make your tracks and elements within them sound wider within the mix, different plugins, different techniques. But I wanna show you today two little tips that I've got for making your vocals sound wider and they always seem to work for me. So let's jump into Ableton and I'll show you how I do them. So this is one of my latest tracks and I've got the vocal on it soloed at the moment so I can show you these couple of quick tricks. At the moment, they're not applied to it. So this is what it sounds like before. So there are some effects already on here. We've got some EQ, we've got some reverb on there just to kind of make it sit nicely within the mix. And next up, I'm gonna add some echo to it. I really like the Echo plugin within Ableton because it just has a great sound to it, but it has one amazing feature that I use quite a bit. There is a ping pong feature to this, which basically means that the delay goes from left to the right speaker and it goes back and forwards, which really gives it this kind of wide kind of feel. If I enable that ping pong, you'll see what I mean. Instantly, that sounds so much wider, and we can actually see just how wide it is by using a free plugin from Isotope. Now, you should definitely get this downloaded. I totally recommend it. It's called the Ozone Imager. It's actually part of their Ozone Suite, which you do have to pay for, but this plugin is actually a free download from their website, and I definitely recommend using it. Now, we're gonna use some features of it in a minute, but actually, it's just great for actually seeing how wide your track is, so how wide that kind of stereo scope is. So I'm actually gonna change the echo back to the stereo setting so we can see what it looks like beforehand. And now if I put it back to ping pong, you'll see just how wide it gets. So you can see there from the vector scope within the ozone imager just how wide that kind of delay gets and it really really helps now we're also going to use some of the features of this imager because it really only has a couple of just a couple of settings within here but it really helps you get a much wider mix the easiest control is just the width control which you can easily just make it wider or more narrow now i've already talked about this before about making something mono and making something a bit more narrow but with this you can easily bump up how wide that vocal is so what we're going to do is i'm going to play this back and just gently make it more and more wide It just makes it so much more wide. If I actually disable the echo and the imager for now. The combination of those two things works so well together. And if you find that it's still not quite wide enough for you, you can enable this stereoize feature within the Ozone Imager, which makes it even wider. So with that combination of those two little tricks, it really makes vocals sound wider. And that's what I pretty much do with most of my vocals. I've been using that delay ping pong effect for years because it works really, really well. It spreads the vocal out really wide without detracting away from the main vocal down the middle. So that's why I use it all the time. And that Ozone Imager plugin is brilliant. The fact that it's a free download, I definitely recommend you getting on it because it's great. And of course you can get the paid version, which has a whole load more features. But to be honest, there's so much in this already that works 
works really, really well. And even if you're not using those features, just having the scope to know how wide a track is within your mix is really, really handy. So I definitely recommend downloading that and giving it a try. And if this video has been useful to you, then definitely subscribe to my channel. As I mentioned, I've got more of these videos coming every single day this month, a brand new music production tip. So definitely get subscribed and hit that notification icon so you're notified the moment that pops up online. And hopefully I'll see you again in the next video. Oh,